Hi, I'm Becky Sunshine, and today I'm going to show you the first three things you need to teach your pony, mule, or horse. Let's go! I'm Becky. I used to live in the consumer rat race just like you. But one day, I had enough, so I sold it all, moved to the country, and built my own log cabin with my own two hands. Now, I spend my time discovering new ways to live a simple, healthy lifestyle with more free time and way less stress, then sharing what I've learned with you. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. Number one is you want your horse to come to you in the pasture and stand there while you put the halter on. Charlie comes to me good now, but when I first got him, I could not catch him. He would just run away from me, and he's a snorty pants. Mules are a little extra tricky in catching, and that's why I'm using Charlie. A lot of mules will just run from you, and they're super, super, super frustrating. So the best way to teach a mule to come to you is to use a treat, because they're very smart. If you just, like, he'll, I can catch him a couple times without a treat. Okay, so what I do is I never give him the treat first. Like, he does not get a treat until he gets his halter on. So I'm going to get this on him. And as you can see, he's like, here, put it on, which I like that. That's how you want it. Once it's on him, I ask him to stand square. Now, I put it up high because I usually put his bridle on, so I'm just, it's just a habit. And then I ask him to stand square. And it was standing square is lining up all four feet. So, you know, some horses naturally stand very square. They're just built that way. And then a little bit longer ones like Charlie, it's a little harder, but just try to move the feet. Stand, stand. Okay, as you can see, his both, all four feet are lined up. Then I give him his treat. So I have a little treat here in my back pocket. I'm gonna give it to him. Number two is you want him to lead very nicely on the lead line. And when you stop, you want them to stop and to stand and patiently wait for you. So what you do is you get your lead line, you don't get it too short, you don't hold it right here. You give them slack in there. And you wanna make sure if you have other horses, they're locked in the other pasture, so it's just you and whoever you're working with together. And I'm just gonna look over here and walk away. So you know, I'm only gonna take about a couple steps. And you don't want the animal to pass you, but hopefully it's not lagging far behind. Whatever yours does, you just have to deal with it, and that's the animal you're working with. So you're going to take a few steps, and you're just going to look forward and walk. And then you're going to stop. You, hopefully your animal stops. But if he doesn't, I swing this like this, nice and easy. I don't hit him with it. I turn and face him. Stand. That's his command to stand square. And he tries, you can see, he tries to line his feet up perfectly. And then I stand here for a second. <laughs> he knows where they are. Then I'll give him another little treat. And then we'll just stand here for a second. What you're doing is building core strength for him to stand there with his feet square. A lot of times that's very, very hard in the beginning for them. And they will move out of this position very quickly. You'll be lucky if they stand there for, you know, 15 seconds like that. And then you're just going to do it again. So I'm just going to move on forward right here again. So I'm just going to get my little extra in case he passes me because I don't want him to pass me. And I'm just going to, like, just walk off and just take a few steps. You don't have to go far. In the beginning, he doesn't have to be as perfect, but Charlie's, Charlie's pretty good at this. Come on. He's been doing it, so... There, that's pretty good. Good boy. And then I'm going to give him a couple more treats. He's like, I can almost get him myself, Mommy. So this is what you're going to do over and over and over again with your animal until he can stand nicely like this. And it doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter who's around. You know, you want him to pay attention to you and do what you ask him to do. And number three is you want to be able to tie them up and have them stand there safely and behave themselves while you need to walk away and do something or whatever it is. Okay, so the third thing that you're going to teach your horse or donkey or pony is to tie up. 
This is a very important thing they need to learn and it doesn't matter what age they are, you could get a horse that's 20 and it just has never been taught properly how to do it. First of all, you wanna get a spot that's pretty clean. This place has a couple things around, so you know, if it's a horse you don't know, I, you could take them to the outside of this. It might be safer. If you're, when you're teaching them for the first time or they're young or they're just not very good at tying and you're having problems, make sure you use a really sturdy pole like this. Also, you wanna make sure the part you tie them to is the same height as their wither. A lot of people don't know where to tie this part of the rope, if they should tie it low, high, where. You wanna make sure it's as high as their wither, especially on a young horse or somebody that's gonna pull back and they don't know what they're doing. That way you don't hurt their neck. Also, don't tie it off in a big hard knot. I just wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. That way if they do freak out, they can, you'd be surprised, they can pull this. You wouldn't think they could, but they could kind of pull that off. Then what I do is I will just hang around somewhere nearby. I'll just leave them. I don't hover or babysit, so, but I'm nearby. I don't go too far. So I would come over here and I would like sweep. I would tidy up, just so you get the idea of how far away I am. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I would do, and I would just, whatever. And even if I came over here and sat down, you know, maybe, and just looked around, enjoy myself, do a little something with the other horses right there, and I would just leave them tied. And I could watch them in case there's a huge problem, I could go help them, but I don't want them to feel like I'm babysitting them, because that gives them security. As the time progresses, and he, they're more better about standing there, I might walk over there and start taking care of my ducks, or run up on the porch over there and do a little something, start walking away a little bit. And what I do in the beginning is I'll let them stand tied for like 20 minutes when I'm first teaching them. And that's it. There's the three things that your horse really, really, really needs to learn to be a good member of society. And so you can take them out and they can, you know, just behave themselves and do what they're supposed to do.